Hey guys, uh, JC here from Securicom. So I get so many questions sometimes in the comments. It, it makes it really, I, I really can't answer them all, you know. Like, um, so from what I'm going to do now, every now and then, I'm just going to do some random videos just like this. I'm going to answer a few questions um, because uh, you guys have a lot of them. And um, so what I'm going to uh, talk about today is um, I got a few questions after a video I posted the other week about that MBN policy change, and I can confirm with that policy change that it is actually a thing. Um, and I will make another video on the update on that because it is more ridiculous, the update, than um, what I even explained in the last video. But this one here, um, one of the questions was about um, can you connect like your computer directly to, say, like a HFC connection device or an FTTC connection device. And yes, you can, right? Um, I had mentioned it in some videos in the past, and I generally do this when I do a bunch of testing. And it's a good way to, um, to actually bypass any of your, your router or any, any things like that, right? Because with a HFC one, for example, um, you've got the UNDI one port here. And so what you would have to do is you'd literally have to do a reset. So on these, you'll find there's a little hole and um, you want to plug like a, you know, get a toothpick or a, a bobby pin or a paper clip or something, plug it in and just hold it in there for maybe 10 seconds and you'll see all the lights start to flash and then they'll go different colours. Once they do all that, you've got to make sure that you unplug the router first. So unplug your router from the UNDI port and then hold in the, um, the pin, um, wait for all the lights to start flashing and go all weird. Once that happens, then give it about, you know, 10, 15 minutes. So, cause it needs to be kicked off, right? Um, from the, from the, um, the ISP side and it can take up to, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Once that's done, then you can plug in your laptop and you should be able to see on the bottom right hand corner, depending on what type of laptop you've got, um, you'll see the little uh, connected via Ethernet cable um, little icon come up and then you should be able to run a test. Now, you would do this, say, if you're having some issues with your internet service and you're thinking it could potentially be a router problem, um, this if you've got either HFC, fibre to the curb or fibre to the premises or even um, fixed wireless, this is a way to get around, um, you know, just to, to make sure that it's not a problem with the router or anything further on in the network. Um, I will generally do this in my testing. So it's pretty handy um, and a few of you have asked me about it from one of the other videos. Um, so I just thought I'd do a quick video um, I'll probably do a few of these actually. Um, it's just helpful for a lot of people, I guess. So yeah, you can connect to the MBN connection box or, you know, um, and you can also do it with your HFC, I mean, sorry, your FTTC one. So I'd use the, uh, this port here and same again, you would do the reset. So there's a little hole here, this reset hole, you connect into that. Um, same again, wait 10, 15 minutes, wait for all the lights to go weird, uh, flash around a bit and then take it out, wait 10, 15 minutes, plug in your laptop, then you should be able to get a connection, run a test. And it'd be the same again for the um, FTTP. So your UNDI1, which is generally what most people will plug into um, for those type of uh those type of internet services. So yeah, once you do that, um, you can just go to say Ookla, speedtest.net, run a speed test. Um, if you're getting, say if you're on a 50-20 plan um, and you disconnect it and you connect your laptop directly to one of these and you're getting 50, 20, you know, 50 download, 20 upload on directly connected. And then say you are only getting maybe 10 or 15 when you're connecting via Wi-Fi, 
um, then you can pretty much isolate the problem and say, well, it's going to be a problem with the router. If, if we only did the test over Wi-Fi, I would also do the test over Ethernet. Um, and a lot of the times, you know, you'll, when you ring up your ISP, you'll hear that um, a voice recording before to say, maybe check by turning your router off and turning it back on again. Well, that is pretty handy to do because sometimes you'll get congestion within those routers themselves. So if you do turn it off and turn it back on again, a lot of the times that will clear the problem up if it is a router, unless it's a really old one. Um, some of the old, um, like the TPG ones, the real white ones, you can, if they ever see them start to get yellow discoloration on the face of them, um, that's from the heat inside the routers. And over time, if it's like four or five years old, I go to a lot of them lately where they've got these older routers that they would have been given when they first got MBN, and you'll see the, the face of them. They've, they've got like a yellow discoloration. Um, generally, that will be... Um, because the router is starting to fail. It's it's just got so hot in there, the circuitry in there is just really heating up. Anyway, just a real quick one. Um, I thought I'd share this with you because I had a few questions about it. And um, I might do a few of those videos. Um, so if you want more videos like this, let me know in the comments and I'll uh, make a few more. And if you've got questions about any other stuff, leave them under in the comments and I'll make some more videos. All right. Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up, like a bridge tap, or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed, um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video, um, and you can click on those links and I'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.